It is Friday. It is March 18th. Uh, we've got some pretty good things happening in our world when it comes to uh, weather. We are going to see a few things over the next 48 hours, though. Take a look at the four things you need to know as we uh, get up and head out on this final Friday of winter. Uh, clouds and sprinkles today. Rain, uh, some mountain snows, light amounts, uh, breezy and showers for tomorrow, and then a dry start to spring, which, by the way, arrives on Sunday. Over the next 12 hours, cloud cover. We're not going to have a sunny day today. Uh, we're going to be in the upper 30s all morning long noon upper 40s and then 51 will be our high today. Doppler radar busy for North Idaho and they continue to get some snow uh, in the higher elevations. That's going to continue. Uh, if you're going to be driving along I-90, look out. You could see a little bit of light snow, but it's it not being um, a huge issue, but still some winter-like driving. Uh, the 24-hour forecast shows a continuation of showers in our region through this morning, North Idaho, and then pushing uh, westward over us. That's where we're going to get those light rain showers. Uh, we'll see more so into Seattle for Saturday, heading our way with scattered showers as well. Uh, we're going to have northern Cascades picking up more snow. That's Stevens Pass, by the way. Uh, low 50s around our area, upper 40s as well. 63 in Lewiston and in the Tri-Cities. We look at what we can expect over the next four days, getting us through the weekend and into the uh, start of spring. Uh, going to be showers today, uh, again tomorrow, uh, sprinkles today, really not expecting a ton. Spring arrives uh, on Sunday with a high of 47 degrees, a little below average, but that continues into Monday, still dry, and then we warm up. We'll see 60s next week. That's looking pretty good. All right, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching this. We'll continue to keep it updated, not only throughout the day, but um, all the way through the weekend and next week, and, well, we just keep doing it. Thank you. The First Alert Weather app is free and available in the App Store. Download that now. Uh, it's been upgraded. Let us know what you think. Uh, take care.